Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. Over the last few days I've been seeing some rather concerning stories regarding excess deaths being reported in the United Kingdom, specifically England. I've been seeing these across a number of different publications and I've seen some brief discussion regarding this topic, but I wanted to dive into this story further and share it with you. So here we go then, let's look at what's been happening in England according to official government data. So first of all, let me share with you this story that was reported in Yahoo News. Excess death figures to be examined amid concerns about lockdown effects. Authorities have asked for excess death figures to be examined as it was reported lockdown's effects may be killing more people than the virus itself. Figures for excess deaths from the Office for National Statistics, ONS, show that around 1,000 more people than usual are currently dying each week from conditions other than the virus, according to The Telegraph, which is another large UK publication. The paper said the Department of Health and Social Care had asked for the data to be checked, with a department spokeswoman telling the PA news agency that circulatory diseases and diabetes may be partly responsible for the majority of excess deaths. She said analysis is ongoing, however early investigation suggests circulatory diseases and diabetes may be partly responsible for the majority of excess deaths. That's interesting. The latest data highlights the importance of actively managing risks around heart issues as there is good evidence many of these deaths are potentially preventable. So the article then goes on to talk about deaths from the virus and then talks about how uh, total deaths registered is down slightly from the previous week and comes after six consecutive weekly increases. So that is what one publication is saying. What are other publications saying about this story? So here is the article then from the Daily Telegraph. Lockdown effects fear to be killing more people than the virus. Unexplained excess deaths outstrip those from virus as medics call figures terrifying. So then in the interests of balance here, we have another article from the Huffington Post UK saying why it's not straightforward to say lockdowns caused more deaths than the virus. Claims suggesting so risk not explaining the full picture. Here's an article from this week. Are lockdown effects killing more people than the virus? Excess deaths data has blown open debate about pandemic restrictions. The effectiveness of the UK's response is being debated once again following the publication of new statistics which suggest that the pandemic response may now be killing more people than the virus itself. It then touches upon that information from the Office for National Statistics. The figures reveal that the rate of excess deaths is 14.4% higher than the five-year average and that 1,350 more people died than usual in the week ending the 5th of August. So once more, that is indeed quite alarming and also quite terrifying, as that quote suggested, those excess deaths way above usual. But as always, and I would encourage everyone to do this in the name of science, never get all your information and data straight from publications, especially news publications. Go to the actual source of data itself. Wasn't there a famous line from that great movie, The Untouchables, with Kevin Costner and Sean Connery? They don't make movies like that anymore, do they? But didn't Sean Connery say, if you're afraid of getting a rotten apple, don't go to the barrel, get it straight from the tree. So let's do that here. Let's go straight to the UK government website. So here we have deaths registered weekly in England and Wales, week ending 5th of August 2022 on the UK government website. So I'm going to go down the article here and I have put the link down at the bottom. It's quite long, but I want to highlight a few of the main areas for you here. This is a graph of number of deaths registered by week in England and Wales from the end of 2019 to August 2022. And let's look in particular at these couple of paragraphs here. The number of deaths was above the five-year average in private homes, 28.1% above 681 excess deaths, hospitals 13.5% above 565 excess deaths, and care homes 6% above 117 excess deaths, but below the five-year average in other settings, 1.6% below in week 31. 
The number of deaths registered in the UK in the week ending the 5th of August 2022 was 12,126, which was 13.9% above the five-year average, 1,480 excess deaths. Of these deaths, 799 involved the virus, which was 124 fewer than in week 30. So that is quite a story there. And if this trend continues, I mean, this is a very somber, sad topic. But if we see this trend continue, I hope it doesn't. If it does, however, I'm sure you're going to see a lot more discussion around this topic. Way more people dying than usual is a really bad thing. What could be worse than death? But I do have a few thoughts of my own here that I would like to share with you. First of all, I obviously live and work in the United States, and I will say this, as much as I love the USA, it has very shoddy record keeping indeed. I've worked in different states and I've seen this happen time and again, and I know a lot of viewers are in the United States, a lot of Americans, and I would advise you this, the records that emerge from the USA take a long, long time, and I trust data from Europe and certain other countries like Israel way more. I do trust the data from England. England. European countries release data much more quickly and they release raw data so you can see trends emerge much more quickly than you can in the United States. My second point is this. When they talk about the effects of lockdowns, as lots of the articles did, they went into how lockdowns could be causing this surge in excess deaths. What they are talking about, many different factors, one that I saw cited a lot, were that a lot of resources were obviously plowed into pandemic management over the last couple of years, and as a result, other sectors of healthcare suffered a lot. That's one reason. Then you have all the social effects of lockdowns themselves, the social isolation, the tragic increase in mental health issues, alcohol intake going through the roof, other sad effects like drug use. Then you have the lifestyle factors, people eating more junk food and being sedentary. All of these things are likely to have contributed. My third point is this, if we're talking about a 14% increase, that is absolutely huge. You cannot ignore a number like 14%. But, and this is my fourth point, you have to see these trends maintained over time. Okay, you have a few weeks, but what we'd want to see is data over a few more months. The year-end summary will be very interesting indeed. Unfortunately, it takes time for all of this data to be released, but the short-term data here certainly isn't good at all. My final point is this. If this trend continues, we need a full and thorough investigation. If other countries are noticing it as well, and not just England, then we need to get everybody together, doctors, scientists, other experts, experts, hopefully they're the right experts, but to actually look at data and come up with the real reasons why we're seeing this happen. I mean, more people dying, way more people dying than expected is absolutely tragic. We can't let things like this go on and not even have reasons for it. So a full and thorough public investigation with all options on the table, nothing else will suffice. Some other basic questions to consider would be as follows. Remember, the lockdowns ended last year in England, so why would we be seeing the effects now? Have we seen other similar brief fluctuations with this type of data previously? Are there any other unique medical factors this year versus previous years that could be contributing? And are there any other unique environmental conditions, such as the heat wave which has swept across Europe over the last few weeks, that could be contributing? These types of questions, along with others, need to all be on the table. Thanks everybody for listening. Do let me know your thoughts down below. A very somber topic indeed. Do hit the subscribe button down below for more similar videos in the future. Also hit the bell button so you get notified when I make more videos. Remember three things. Modern mainstream culture will make you very sick very fast. Sadly, a lot of healthcare and medicine has become very corrupted. And fewer things are to be more cherished than living in a free country. Do also come follow me on my Uncensored platform. That link is down below where we have more open, honest discussions in a less constrained, less censored environment, an environment away from silencing that has engulfed regular social media platforms. We will talk again very soon.